What's up guys, my pack is actually available right now in my store, it has everything you need to follow any of my tutorials and my Lightroom right here because I make no money off of YouTube unfortunately, so just uh, hit it up if you'd like and uh, let's get into it. Alright, for this right here, how you're going to make it, it's super simple, it's a very basic tutorial, I figured I'd start with this, so I want to do more advanced headers like this in the future, I could just point back like to this video if people have questions or if they're not sure what to do, and all the assets are going to be in my pack, except for the characters themselves of course, but um, right here you can see the grid, um, ever the smoke, everything will just be in the pack and uh, all I have to do is pop it in, but as you can see right here, I'm just going to start by hitting a camera raw filter for all the characters, putting some clouds right there like I did in front of you, you can see I'm pointing to them right now, they're just clouds from my pack, you just pop them right in super easily, and then we're going to take every single character and hit them with a camera raw filter. Alright, now that that's all done, you can see the background does look a little different, and what I did was actually just take a white brush and cover up most of what the grid is like, because there are some hard edges as well in the grid, because it's, uh, yeah, some of it's overlaid. So yeah, I did that, and then later in the tutorial, I will turn the opacity of the grid down, but right now, as you can see, I'm just sampling colors, making a new layer above the characters, just painting over it right here, and then messing with the blending mode. This will just everything, this will make everything glow a lot more, um, this is what people do. I think it looks, um, it looks alright, you can't do it too too much because it'll look kind of crazy but you know linear light pin light linear dodge color dodge stuff like that will be good and then mess with the uh, opacity of course if it's really high it'll look super ugly just make sure you're uh, messing with the opacity and you'll be good to go And then this halftone I'm putting right here, this is also for my pack. What I did, I just went to filter, liquefy, and then I just smushed a lot of it. So it will look like super, you know, uniform at first. But if you just go to filter, liquefy, and then just like move it around, you'll get this sort of wavy halftone type thing. And I'm just erasing a lot of it. And I'll change the color later. And I'm just going to duplicate it and then rasterize it and then put it in a few different spots. Alright, as you can see I put in some type right here, these are just some simple PNGs I found online. Just put them in and added a nice little gradient to it. And then right here I'm taking the polygonal lasso tool, making a nice little shape right here. Um, just painting it in with a hard brush, hitting command D or control D to deselect. Putting in an image and then putting in gradients and colors over that just so it looks nice. But as you can see right here, I'll do a couple of these just so it looks nice. Alright, and then right here, after I have my gradients done with those nice little shapes, I'm just going to put in these PNGs right here, you'll see me do it. Um, it's super simple, they're just some PNGs of some Japanese text because this is a Japanese show that I do like, Psyche. Um, there's a lot of funny satire in it, I'd recommend it, it's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I'm putting in these, um, I'm just adding a nice little gradient overlay, and then I will do some outlines, but these are super simple, and then I'll paint over them at the end as well.
All right, the ending's pretty simple right here. As you can see, I'm just taking my type tool, putting in a, a nice little thing of type right here. You'll see the typeface up there, of course. Um, you can do a couple ones. I'll put a link in the description to what it is, or just the name of it, because um, I don't think you, I don't think I could legally do that. So I can just say what it is, because uh, then you gotta pay for it probably, unless it's a free font. Uh, I don't remember, but anyway, I'm putting it in right here. And the ending, it's it's pretty simple. As you can see, those um, halftone gradients, I just added color overlay to them. Um, with the type, I'll just add um, an image over it for, and then make it a clipping mask by just right clicking, create a clipping mask and just putting an image over it. Gradient map over that, just so it's all nice and nice and neat. And after that, I'll be adding some chromatic aberration. And um, yeah, we'll be good to go. I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right, right here, as you can see, I got my image in, I painted over it a little bit, and then I'm just gonna be adding some nice little painting splots all the way over. Um, and then for those painting splots, they'll just be in whatever color it'll be. Um, and then I'll set the blending mode to probably linear dodge or color dodge, and then turning the opacity down. I'll do this for the um, color blocks and the type, of course, on the bottom right, and in the left middle, I'll just be doing that real quick. And after that, chromatic aberration. Alright, and then right here you can see it's sped up, but pretty much I'm just saving it as an image, placing it as a PNG over everything, going to filter, camera raw filter, which is what you should do for every single finished piece, just camera raw filtering it, and then duplicating that with control J, and then what I'll do after that is add chromatic aberration or offset, whatever you like to call it, but pretty much um, with your duplicated layer, hit control T, and then move it over a little bit, and then you're going to right click, blending modes, and then you'll see RGB under the basic blend modes and then um blending options and then you'll just like unclick r or g or whichever ones look best to you but you'll see me do it right here it's super simple um and yeah that's how you do it All right, y'all, this is our finished project. All we need are just those PNGs in my pack, and you've got a nice little Twitter header for you. Of course, this is free to use, so I will have the PSD in the description. After it reaches a few amount of likes, I'll make it really low because um, this is just a simple tutorial. I want to help everyone out. But I did color correct it at the end and add some chromatic aberration, and it looks pretty nice. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Good afternoon, good evening, or good night, wherever you're from. Bye.